What's happening, everyone? Game Water here. Now, I'm also I'm now benchmarking Battlefield 4 once again, but this time I'm benchmarking it in medium quality. I don't know how this is going to turn out for you guys, um, but I actually watched the video of my previous benchmark video. Now, mind you, these benchmarks are not um, made for quality per se. They're really just to see. Oh, sorry. Okay. Still remembering my controls here. They're really just to see what my computer can bring to you guys. Um, I watched the video and uh, it was pretty laggy, uh, in my opinion. I mean, oh, whoops. I mean, um, for an everyday video, you're gonna compare. You're gonna compare it to like one of the really high-end. It's a uh, pretty bad because the audio would lag every once in a while, and so would the video. The video would also kind of lag, and well, that's not good for a let's play. So, mind you, that was on high, and as I also previously discussed in my last video, it's not my computer is not built for you know high quality video recording. So I'm gonna try and just stick with medium video recording. Um, so I also believed, I said this in the video, pretty ignorant of me as well, that the lag I was experiencing was not, um, I, I was blaming it on the server, okay, explosions. I was blaming it on the server and wasn't taking account that it could have been my CPU, really. And sadly, it was, because I'm playing this right now and I don't feel at all laggy. Now, remember, um, during production, you know, it's totally different than when I upload it to YouTube and it's just like, oh, there's now lag. So I have to be very conscious about this. So. I looked into the recording settings, and it still, it said that it was still recording at 1080. Whoa! I thought I just got damaged for a second. I was like, "Who shot me?" Anyway, this this really started off well. Got no kills at all. However, I have 60 points somehow. Don't know how that works out. <laughs> okay. Okay, just experience some light there. Anyway, so what's gonna happen with these? Is I'm gonna at least try to bring at least one Battlefield video to you guys at least every day. Once, at least. One Battlefield 4 video a day, minimum. Or, yeah. And in these videos, it's not really gonna be parts, because it's multiplayer. I'm not um, gonna do a let's play of the campaign, because frankly, with war games like this, I don't really get into the campaign. The campaign doesn't really grab me. Halo, however, is a totally different story, and I won't get into that, because Halo is, like, just... I play Halo mainly for the storyline of, you know, Master Chief, all that. I read pretty much all the books. I love the franchise. Anyway, that's getting off topic, so I'm gonna bring you guys at least one video, um, a day. Oh, that's X. Nope. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Okay, that was not... Nope. Nope. You see, I'm not good at uh, sniping those distances. Okay. There's a guy on that island. Why? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Timing was a bit off, but distance. Where is he? I don't see him. That should have been a kill. Okay, I'm gonna give up on that attempt. Fruitless kill attempt. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to bring a discussion into these videos. Because from what I've experienced, when I'm talking about something that's unrelated to the game, I 
seem to focus a bit more, or at least I perform a bit more than I would when, you know, just trying to talk about what's going on in the game. I don't know why this occurs. It just, it does. Okay, hold on. Trying to snipe people here. Mind you, I'm... It... I... When... People really complain about campers. For me, I don't think campers are that big of a deal. If they have a sniper rifle, let them, you know, camp or whatever. I mean, they, what are they going to do? They're not going to run around the whole map trying to, uh, you know... Oh, shit. Uh... Yeah, still for a second. Oh, yeah. I just did that. You're jelly. Anyway, um, it's called sniping. It's not camping. Snipers are supposed to stay in one spot and shoot the enemy down. That's what they're supposed to. And they're kind of supposed to enrage you know, the player. And I am just so good at this right now. And yes, I just got my new sniper rifle. Booyah. Bad. Okay, he's on foot. This is not good. Reloading. Oh god. I see. I believe I did good, and then I just kind of suck. Balls. Awesome. That guy just. I don't know what happened to that guy. I think I want to say he died. Van wrap. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna get this guy. Nope. Oh, okay. Alright, so we have a bomb. That's a gunshot going right by my face. We okay, can this bomb finally decide on a side whether it wants to be on our side or their side? Come on, bomb. Anyway, I do apologize for that. Uh, so, yeah, it's called sniping. It's not called camping. It's going to be a huge disadvantage for us if we're just going to be kind of attempting to run around the whole map. Attempting to, like, just use this as a frickin' M16. Jeez. It's, like, suicide on our part. Ugh, I'm not used to bullet drop. I do apologize. One of the best game mechanics I ever thought of, and it's just real pain in the balls when you actually go for sniping. Pink boo. Uh, see? I'm used to how Call of Duty mechanics uh, just are a straightforward line and have no bullet physics whatsoever. Anyway, I am so off topic than what I started with. But, yeah, I'm going to skip over to a topic I actually did want to cover a little bit. So, there is the huge argument about which um, phone is better, iPhone or Android. Now, it's a topic I actually do like to get into. However, um, it's also a topic that people can be really passionate about. So can I. As for me, I am an iPhone lover because... I believe iPhone is a very good, very secure uh, phone OS. However, I believe Android, on the other hand, is a very bad, very unsecure operating system. Android is an open source operating system, meaning anyone can grab the operating system and anyone can make a program and or virus for said operating system. This is a problem. Have you... I, as a iPhone user, have never really heard of antivirus for your phone. When I think of antivirus, I really just... I associate that with... not... Android. I, I don't... No, I associate... I'm sorry. I associate that with desktops, not... Um, mobile devices. 
if your mobile device needs a antivirus, I'm sorry, but you have major issues. Because that means wherever you are, you can pick up a virus just from a Bluetooth connection. And that's just, you know, think about that. If you're just, you know, in a random spot and suddenly you get a virus because, um, for um, how, like, a Bluetooth connection gives it to you or something. Okay, this guy is really pissing me off. Okay. Bleh. How much ammo do I have? Where's my... Uh-oh. I, I don't think I have that much ammo. This is problematic for me. I've been just, you know, popping people like, uh, pills. Yes. Okay, that was bad. Okay, that almost hit. <sighs> iOS on the... Seriously... <sighs> okay, I'm... I'm being distracted because I don't see my... Wait a minute. Okay. I don't know. I... <laughs> I apologize. I just kind of blank out. Things like this. I'm trying to snipe and I'm also trying to, you know, speak. Which... I say it kind of helps my performance, which kind of sounds hypocritical because I'm not doing that well. I thought that was a person. Well, I knew that was a person, but I thought that plant was a person. Um, um anyway. Okay. Sorry. So, Android is an open source operating system, meaning that viruses of the worst kind that you will never detect can be made for it such as Trojan viruses, which get into your computer and then just take up all of the data on... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I take it back. I'm getting mixed up with a worm or something. <laughs> Excuse me. A Trojan virus is something that looks nice, something that looks, you know, harmless. You download it, and then suddenly your computer has 10,000 viruses. Well, something's going on. This is not you know, my computer derping out here. <laughs> yep, something's going on. I think there's some massive server lag. Yeah, it's server lag. But Um. Yikes. Yeah. It's, I can't... Oh, wait. I'm out of ammo. It, it doesn't show me my ammo indicator, so I can't tell how much ammo I have. I can't. Cons okay, this is not me. Someone joined the server with really bad internet connections. And that Halo Racer guy has 159 ping. That's not very good at all. I don't think he should be playing Battlefield. <laughs> anyway, so Android open source operating system. You get the worst viruses imaginable. Um, they also because their app store is managed by the Chrome store, the Google App Store, which is very highly, 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 highly unmanaged. I can make a complete ripoff, and I know for a fact people have done this and are making money off of it illegally. Make a complete ripoff of, say, Minecraft. All they really do is give it a new name. That's it. Just a new name. And then they put it on the app store for what, 99 cents? Hey buddy, I wouldn't mind if you would kill me. That actually would really help me. You guys are just ignoring me. I'm taking this to my advantage. That, yeah. <laughs> I ran up there with C4. What was I expecting? Anyway. Um, so, copyrighted programs can be stolen very easily. Very easily. I can make a program, I copyright it, and someone steals it. And my dad is falling. 
I do apologize. I apologize about that. Um, so their app store is also highly unmanaged, meaning people can copyright, I mean, just rip off copyrighted material. As an artist, because I do draw, I am a sketch artist, um, that is just something I hate. Because if I make an app that I'm very proud of, and I put it out there for free, for free, someone takes, someone can then take that app and re-upload it for 99 cents and then start making money off of it. Now, mind you, I made the original app for free. This person's not giving me any credit. And if anything, is now calling me the liar. Think about if someone did that to you. How mad would you be? You'd be like, yo, that dude's making enough money off something that I created. Right? Right. Now, if I... T I th oh, I'm sorry, I'm really tripping over my words today. With the I app, the Apple App Store, they actually are pretty strict on their copyright laws. If the app itself literally is a ripoff of another app, you literally just copy the exact same code from another app, they will do something about it. They won't let you upload it. Um, things like that. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Derping. Apps on the Google App Store actually can possess viruses because they are not scanned prior. Oop, I totally missed that guy twice. Okay, screw that guy. He moved. He moved. No. No. Okay, I guess he's done. They're on the beaches. Looking at the beaches. Oh, they're on the beaches. It, I don't understand, but okay. They kind of just haven't noticed me yet. Okay. I guess that's okay. Okay. <laughs> I have a good KD, though. Um... They, the Apple App Store, they actually check um, their apps for viruses. They will not let an app with a virus buy. They will not. They also update, they do like these mini updates that you kind of don't have to install or anything. Or, no, I'm sorry, I apologize. They don't. What they do is with every update that they release, they release, they ch basically change the base code. Kind of understand what I mean. Basically, if there was a virus created for iOS on that base code, it has been changed. That okay, probably should go here. Um, they will not be able to, you know, communicate with the Apple device. This is a lot similar to how um, jailbreaking works. How like the mini updates jailbreaking fails, right? Well. Yeah, that's the same that happens for... Oh my god, this is sad. <laughs> um, okay, so that's the same that happens with viruses. If a virus is made for that iOS version, and they just change it by point one, well, that virus is now incompatible. You cannot use that virus, just like you cannot use that jailbreak version. Which, for... You know, iOS people, that's amazing, because that means that you're safe. You don't need an, uh, a antivirus for your phone. Which, you know, it's very endurable. It, but, endure, endurable! Endurable! <laughs> it's very enjoyable. I'd, I'd rather not have to worry about viruses on my phone. Because my phone is my beloved device, and I 
don't want it to become infected. Wait for me. No, actually, I want my own. Never mind. I hate you. I hate you, person. Um. Anyway. Uh. I. Ooh. 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 I'm, I'm, this is useless. Really. Whoa. Okay. I. I feel like I was hurt. In the chest. Just right there in the heart. Shoot through. Ha. Yeah, too late. Oh. Okay. Storms of ruin, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wrong. Thingy, my boob. Too high. Just right. Just. Okay. iOS, because of its security, also has, in my personal belief, a lot better games that are developed for it. Such as Infinity Blade. I will recommend that game to anybody. I think it is the best mobile game ever developed. I just, I love it. If you know Dave & Buster's, then you'll know that they also have, um, you know, the mobile game arcade versions. They will, um, basically, you get tickets and for playing the game, like in, uh, there's, you know, Infinity Blades, so for every monster that you successfully kill, and there's a radio. Um, so you get, like, tickets for every monster you kill. And I just love the game. The reason that they're not going to release it for Android is because Android does not have a secure thing. Secure app store. They don't want their app to be stolen and then, you know, claimed by someone else. Mind you, I know the Infinity Blade games, when they're first released, they're pretty, they're pricey if you are on iOS or own it device you know what I'm talking about they're pricey I understand but you also have to look at it from you know a triple-a title game which infinity blade has pretty much come to be within the three games that they produced it's grown very large in popularity just like Call of Duty or something like that it's gonna be $60 <laughs> not the actual Infinity Blade game. If that thing was $60, no one would buy it. <laughs> um, but no, like, Call of Duty would be $60 for first release. But if, for iOS, if you wait, like, a month or two, it will drop in prices. Like, just be patient. It will happen. And I just can't shoot this guy because of the weights. I just shot that pole. Okay. Come on. Place the... Okay. Use your penis. Yeah. Your penis. <laughs> Use your penis. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yep. Just ready. Just do it. Do it, bitch. I dare you. Rage with all your might. Oh, shit. What now? Really, can that guy not see me when I fell right in front of his face? <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> this video has been going on for a bit long, I suppose. How long have I been recording for? Ooh, 24. Four minutes? Jeez! I think I might just leave it. Whoa, underwater. Whoa, whoa. I might just leave it as it is. And there's a sniper on top of me. Yeah. I, I can't drive. Okay.
We lost. You know, yeah, that was good. 25 minutes, approximately. <sighs> we lost. <laughs> anyway. I didn't... I... This, um, episode wasn't really to finish a argument, or really to start an argument in the first place. My goal with this was really just to open up a discussion. What do you prefer? Just write down in comments, do you like iOS or Android? You know, state your reason, what not. If you are a proud Android owner, yeah, go ahead. You be proud. Android, yeah. Viruses, yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I am an iOS, so I'm just going to say that. Yeah. But iOS lovers, you know, I Apple is actually very good in terms of audio quality, and I believe that they have just really excelled with the iPhone. It's I personally believe that it is the best operating system for mobile smartphones. And I currently have the iPhone 5S, and I really enjoy the fingerprint scanner. It is probably the most amazing thing Apple has released since the iPhone. <laughs> yeah, isn't that their um, slogan or something? The best thing... The best iPhone since iPhone. Or the best thing to happen since iPhone. <laughs> something like that. That is one of their th uh, slogans or something. Anyway, yeah, so... You know, write in the comments, what not. This video is really for discussion. It's also another benchmark for me. I'm going to do another benchmark before I actually get to producing these uh, finally. It's going to be a low-quality benchmark. I know, it doesn't sound amazing, but the low-quality, when I set it on Shadowplay, it also said it was recording 1080p. So, I just want to see what it's like on YouTube, because when I watch it in Windows Movie Maker, it's a lot different than when I post it on YouTube. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I do apologize for this almost 30 minute episode. I hope you all enjoyed my Let's Play and my video. I will see you guys in either the next live stream or the next video. See ya! I hope you enjoy what I have to come. Peace out.